Hey everybody, Lenzer here. I've been doing a lot of play out louds lately, whether it be Gunner or on Vanguard, and I think this is going to be the last one that I do for a continent specific. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to do a play out loud on Amorish, the, the one final one I haven't done yet. So Amorish is a heavily forested, lots of stuff everywhere. Different than Hassan, though, because for some reason, there are a lot of, a lot of air armor combinations on Hassan. Not exactly sure why that is, but on Amorish, there's a little bit less air. And I think maybe a little more, a little less armor. I haven't quite figured it out. But for Amherst, I know that I'm going to want to run Halberd. Yeah, Halberd. Because there's a lot of peaks and mountainous terrain on Amherst. So I, I want my gunner to have kind of like a less sustained fire and more of a punching power. Could start doing trawler. I've been I've been doing a bit of trawler on which continent? On Esamir. And I think I started doing trawler on Amherst because of how much infantry there is as well. So okay, I have flanker. So that tells me that I didn't want to deal with air much. And speed racer is just kind of a staple for me. Yeah, so let's let's do that instead. I've been testing out Trawler a lot, and I really like it. It's very versatile. Hits really hard. It's rate of fire. I haven't really seen much negativity for that. A lot of downsides. The only real downside is its killing power for for armor. You kind of trade off with the Halberd and the Enforcer even to the point where it's you can feel the difference. It just takes longer. Um, and because I'm a heat player with my R heat weapon, I don't deal alpha damage to like I would an AP to enemy vehicles. So I kind of need that halberd in the enforcer. But the trawler is good enough to where it bats away the air. So let's see where the fight is. Looks like there's some three ways going on, which is pretty cool. Let's just try out the. Let's try out the Ascent first and see what happens. Put down my... Well, I'll just extend it. Yeah, 41 minutes? Sure. <laughs> Something I noticed on Amrish, though. Camo means a bit more on Amrish. And I, I think the reason is because of the, the uneven and incongruent terrain all over the place. Where there's just little ditches and divots all over the place that... You can kind of blend in with, but if you're bright pink, like I am sometimes, then it doesn't really help you to survive. Whereas on Amrish, also probably because of the shadowing and the, the low level lighting that's going on, that's probably why I've seen it matter more on this continent. Whereas, say, like Hassan is a little different um, because of. See, I spawned right away, and okay, so it looks like there's battles going on already. That one's not going to... Really? Alright, so I'm just going to back up as best I can. Hope I don't die. Wow. Impressive. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was about. But, let's just go ahead and pull another one, I guess. <laughs> Oh, I'm not running a squad right now, so... Amrish also sometimes has a... Like Hassan, has a mine problem. There are lots of mines. So, I'm going to run Sweeper with my vehicle. And then start asking for a gunner. So, it looks like we're under attack. They kind of have... For whatever reason, they just have vehicles. Up against our stuff, so... I'm going to go ahead and the first thing I'm going to do is clean those out. Asking for a gunner, please help me. Turn on my headlights. Kill that thing. 
Okay, so that's dead. Now, okay, so the Sunder is over there. Let's go. Now that I have a gunner, I'm going to turn off my beacon, or my, beacon, my headlights. And so the Sunder is right here. Okay, I need to get, I need back up. Back up. Yep, and you're trying to do that, so I'm going to pop my shield, even though I may not need to. And we might not survive this, but we're going to try. Okay, so one more should do it. Yep. Oh, no! <sighs> Bad thing about Racer is that it's difficult. You don't stop as quickly, so when I see those mines, and I saw that second one too late... By the time I stopped, I had already run into it. The mines have a large radius on them. So, you have to be careful. 450. I'm already down two tanks. I need to start being playing a little bit more careful. We are cut off at the ascent. So, do I want to pull another tank? Yes, I do. I do want to pull another tank. Although, armor is probably an armor. Halberd's probably not the way to go here. It's probably Trawler. There's so much infantry in close quarters that I don't anticipate armor being overly an issue. But then again, we are on the front lines. So we have tanks, we have little players around, but we're also slightly overpopped. I'm going to hit it and let's see what happens. So I'm going to call for a gunner. And let's see. Uh-oh. That, that's a lib overhead. Jeez. Missed again. So now that the air absolutely sees me. Call for a gunner while I rep. I won't need a pop heal because I am I can take my time. Someone get in, please. It's Trawler, fully asserted. You'll do work. So they're all the way up at top. So they have a spawn way up there somewhere. We have a player base somewhere. Because that's... Ooh. Can I get him? Okay, so I got him. He's down. So there is a bit of an air presence going on. Good thing I have flanker. But it's also most likely because we're on the front lines. So someone please hop in this trawler. I need a gun. Alright. Now I have my gun. Let's start seeing if we can uh, demolish. There is... Nice old ant. I don't think he's really doing anything. Sweeper HUD coming to the rescue there. Very helpful. <laughs> More over there. Kill the infantry. Kill more mines. And shoot. Need to kill him. Please shoot him, trawler. I'm going to heal up and back up. So it's an age-old Vanguard tactic. Use physics. Doesn't always work in your favor. Damn. Um, I'm not convinced my trawler gunner was very helpful there. So, I know that if I pull another one, I'm going to have to stay close to the ascent. We're cut off. Yikes. So is our tech plant. Do I remember correctly that we... Okay, I guess it's faction wide. doesn't make a difference. So, I'm going to pull another one. Flanker does reduce damage from C4. I don't think forward shield does. But I'm going to keep this because of the, the infantry that's around. 
We have enough fighting going on here that I think I can be supported. So I'm going to pull another. But so far, I'm getting decimated when it comes to surviving. I have to play very smart. Which to me means taking it slow. Not rushing out. Not going all gung-ho. Sometimes you can go around and just you know throw your weight around. But that's not what this is. I need to be... See, like that guy right there. Need to just keep on looking all around me everywhere. Alright, and just get a momentum going. Get a little bit of momentum and some rhythm. Keep on calling for a gunner. So the enemies are definitely southwest, I think. And I really need a gunner right now. That would be very helpful. Thank you. Okay, so now I have my gunner. Let's go. Let's roll out. Mmm. Nice harasser caught out in the open. Okay, trawler gunner, I need you to start shooting, please. Do me a favor and start shooting. All right, I'm just going to wait for him to poke his head out one more time. I don't care about that guy. What I care about is you. He knows I'm looking at him, so I don't, he's going to probably try and find another angle. Yeah. And he did. So this is a tough one to be in, but I think this is good to showcase the different environments that you find yourself in as a tanker. Right now I'm very constricted. Super constricted. So, whereas in uh, Esamir I had a lot of range. <laughs> Tons of range. But, Amorish, I can't go out that far. My, my trawler gunner is... Not doing very well, I don't think. He's kind of slow to the draw. But I'm going to keep at it with him because he's better than nothing. I'd rather him shoot kind of wildly than not be shooting at all. Okay, good on him. So bad people over here. Let's try and shoot him down. Keep my head on the swivel, because there are skinnies all over the place. So let's see if I can't help out infantry right here, just a little bit. Nothing. But there is a spawn beacon over there. I can't reach it. But let's see if I can't help out killing some of these bad people over here. I'm taking directional so I need to there we go pop my shield because I'm taking tons of damage I realized this way too late way too late so this this is uh this is challenging I'm gonna keep at it because this is this is good different type of fight close quarters very crunched maybe Maybe this might be the one time that I actually want a canister. Hmm. I've never actually used the Mjolnir, but you know what? Let's try the canister. And let's go with night vision because they can see further. And magazine and everything else is maxed out. Okay. So let's try this out and see how it goes. Oh, Prowler's out in the open. I'm going to pop my shield just to kind of settle that. Oh! Nice. Motherfucker is in my way right now. Okay. 
Okay. Call for a gunner. There's an ant behind me. Again. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <sighs> what? What's going on now? That ant. What is happening with that ant? It must be that the driver is coming up with a targeting dart, pulling it up with the ant, getting out, and then just dropping it. That's actually, that's a pretty good technique. That's pretty cool. I'm impressed. So, 375. This, instead of just pulling a tank right off the bat, I'm going to go do a little bit more reconnaissance this time around. I'm just getting slaughtered. Too many variables are happening. Maybe I should use Punisher first on that one. So we're getting compressed. And I'm not sure that a vehicle is going to be of any benefit here. You can see the red starting to pop up. So a little bit of reconnaissance here tells me that there is still room for a vehicle. Let's see if I can't knife this guy to death. Nope. The one instance in which my knife is helpful. <laughs> so now that their armor is starting to kind of have free range on us. I don't know. I don't think I want to pull another one right now. Yeah, no. Look both ways for crossing the street. Do a nice little medic heal. Oh! You know what? I do want to pull another one. Because I can, I would be able to stop that armor. They're coming in onesie twosies, so it kind of tells me that if I were to... So, air battle. If I were to kind of keep... Oh, two prowlers. Alright, so never mind. The armor is going to start coming in together and we are we are way over popped so I, I don't I don't think it's a good idea to pull again so I'm gonna look for another battle now and maybe crux is the way to go I might end up doing a harasser play-by-play -play in the future we'll see so crux the nearest one is probably Sungri. It's a little bit of a hike, but it's kind of what it be like sometimes. So drop my mobile armor, and then yeah. So you'll get to see some of the terrain now, how it all plays together. So the burns are a little bit steep, but with Racer, you can get over them. Actually, I might not even need to. And just go through these, these kind of chasms in between. See what I mean? Look at all these con... Look at all the contouring going on here. The mountains. Lots of places where you can just kind of irregularly hide. It, it is fairly open at times. 
but all the trees and the mountainous texture and the depressions and concaves and the convexes it's just lots of places you can hide and that's where the camo kind of comes into play there's a lot of beyond line of sight on this continent so that first fight was actually really good I, I enjoyed that and I have canister I forgot all about that well it might help with our rasters over here but if I had a gunner which I don't so it's that prowler he's the big wig and he's got his butt to me nope you're gonna wanna oh that was an amateur shot right there is that another prowler pop my shield because I'm getting hit from a lightning on a Tuesday we can hit from multiple angles yeah okay so this will actually be a proper armor fight good news is is well I can I don't need flanker at the moment so let's use stealth so I can get in a little bit closer before they realize I'm there and then go to all halberd so that's what I'm gonna pull and vehicle All right, I'm going to swing wide left and then do an immediate right. Break. And then I'll do a tiny bit of drifting to get around. Actually, I don't even need to. I can just scale this. Avoid that tree. <laughs> and just keep on powering through. Racer on a Vanguard is extremely useful. Not only is it fast... Maneuverability is really important when you're a vanguard, but it scales well. It hill climbs. Whereas if you have ooh, husky, you want to get in husk? Ooh. And I missed. And I announced myself and I missed again. Dang. Could have killed him by now if I hadn't missed so much. There is, there's a lot of air. Okay, so he's, oof. I need to be careful. I'm by myself, and that harasser I think knows it. Oof. Damn. That hurts. So I'm by myself, and that's why this is happening. I know I shouldn't be doing that, but I'm doing it anyways, just because, really. I, I think I can handle it, but clearly I'm losing. I've lost two tanks over it already, so I'm not doing a very good job. So maybe this time I'll come from, from Crux instead. Put down a mobile armor. Pop out a new vehicle. Okay, so here comes the alert. Oh, I should have swapped out. Nah, nah, nah. I, I can shoot from range. So they do have a lot of air. And I'm willing to bet that by the next death probably going to want flanker armor <laughs> but for now we're going to go with stealth try and maintain that range even though my aim is not I'm just sucking at aiming right now so we'll get one more good cycle round in and then I might end the video here approaching 30 minutes But I think this is a good way to kind of showcase kind of the difficulties on Amorish. To me, it's 
I think I enjoy Amherst. It's probably one of my top three continents because of just how interesting it is. The it's not it doesn't seem like there's any one clear advantage of one place all over another. It's open enough for where armor can have some maneuverability, but not so open that the air can just completely dominate like on Esamir because there's no cover. And then the infantry bases, people have a, the ability to kind of be a little bit protected from armor, but not so much that I can't do a ton uh, like on Hassan at times um, and some in some places on Indar. Yeah. I think I could scale this. Yeah, this one might be this. That's a bridge too far to go to the left. But I can go to the right here. And then I will have a pretty good vantage point. I'm willing to bet. Okay, so I can get up here. Tons of vantage points on Esamir. It's really, really cool. I don't know. I don't know if that Mossy intended to, but when you say that kind of hovering like that is a dangerous spot for a Mossy. Okay, so cool. I don't expect that I'm going to have... That's a cool site right there. I don't expect I'm going to have a lot of accuracy, but what I am going to have is a ton of intelligence gathering. Uh, okay. And intelligence gathering is very, very helpful when it comes to armors. Armor play. I keep just missing them all over the place. Nice little player base there. That's pretty cool. I'm just going to keep on Q spotting everywhere I can. So we have the pop advantage for sure, but for whatever reason, we're just not advancing. If we pushed up right now, we would win. And I think they might be starting to realize that, maybe? I can't tell. But I like this vantage point. It's useful to the team, so I'm going to stay on it. And that guy, I just don't think he realizes how much of a danger he's in. No, he doesn't. He's just kind of yellowing, I think. So I'm just taking pot shots is really all I'm doing. While I Q spot. So we should be moving up. And it looks like that's what we're doing. We're, we're doing full encirclement now. So now I can kind of break vantage point and then by the way if there is a continent where a vanguard is most likely to tip and flip itself it's amrish don't know what it is but, well actually i do the just the random contours uh oh sorry saw that one coming but i just didn't avoid it i would say even more than hassan because hassan just has kind of like a jutting texture to where it just stops you in your tracks. Whereas Amherst, it's more like sloped and curved. So you don't realize that you're in trouble when you flip over until it just starts, you just start to tilt because of the slope. Like this continent gives you just enough rope so that you hang yourself. <laughs> Lots of infantry underneath that tree. So that's what I mean. Like they have good cover. That was uh, that was kind of your fault, but they have good cover, but they don't really have a good route to kind of advance, as you can see, without taking a ton of damage. I'll pop my shield now. Hmm. 
So they are they are blitzing. I don't think that's a good idea. We should definitely be winning this fight though. My bad. Halberd Gunner is doing work. I'm going to try and get a better vantage point. Pretty nice air battle going on over there, I think. Sky Guards helping out big time. So I'm going to try and... Nope. I, did, I hit it from the wrong angle. i got to do it like this. And then turn. Nope. Not enough. Not enough speed. Okay, so I can probably get this vantage point. I just got to be careful to not move. Dang it. Oh, it's a Sunderer. Let's go and hit this bad boy. I think we can kill him. And we'll just kind of destroy this infantry. So that infantry push, pretty good. And let's see if I can't get up. Right. Stop. Oh. Okay, well, I am super exposed now. Sliding. And physics is just going to not be good. Kill that Sunder, and then I'm going to back up. Oops. <laughs> Smoke doesn't really help you out much. It's not not good. So I'm going to go for that Sky Guard. And back up. Whoever planted that, don't think they realize that you can just kind of not be in it. I don't think it was a good spot. So we're doing pretty good work right now. All right, I think it's time for me to move up and establish a new point. This vantage point is going to be much more effective, I think. And the contours here are going to hide me a little bit better. Much, much better. Oh! Okay. That was a good move. Good armor move. We have a minute 40 takes a little while for vehicles to pull and cross from Crux to Sungri. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. That was a good run. I wouldn't say my performance was overly impressive. It's not always going to be. And that's okay. The, as you saw, the, the fighting here was very constricted, especially around where was it? The Ascent. You just saw the the walls closing in. And then even here, the, this kind of open armor architecture fight, it was much more different than Esamir, where the fight is much more... There's much more flow to a fight on Esamir, whereas Amherst, it's almost like blocks. You take one square, one little square at a time. And, and progress here is measured in inches because of how much you can hold down and just kind of do work within the confines of, of a secure position. So that's where I think Esamir is a bit more fun because I think it engages the str strategy a little bit more and how to actually dislodge your enemy who's in armor <laughs> versus you know what you see on on Esamir, where it's much more open terrain, a little bit less uh, thought and more just kind of shooting out. So yeah, that's that's where I'll where I'll end it. It's a pretty good video. Uh, I liked, and we got it, Crux now, so that I can pull. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thanks everybody.